Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, Senior Community Manager at Mojang Studios. Welcome to the Minecraft Live 2022 Community Pre-Show. Now, the main show starts in about 30 minutes from now, but before that, we're going to take a look at some awesome creations from across the Minecraft community. First up, Builders. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, I'm Kiralis. So my Minecraft journey started more than 11 years ago. I've always been fascinated by architecture and Minecraft became the perfect canvas to unleash my creativity. And ever since, I've been placing blocks. Does anyone remember my first Minecraft build on YouTube? Hotel Kiobasa. Don't ask. And please bear in mind that back then, most Minecraft players lived in super scary dirt holes or tiny wooden boxes. So I started making building tutorials on my YouTube channel and a thriving builder community was born. One of my biggest Minecraft achievements and probably the one which I'm most proud of is the Hermitcraft SMP server City Build from Season 7. Over a year of placing blocks in survival and with both help and inspiration from the amazing Minecraft community, it was finally done. You might look at the city and think that you would not be able to achieve a build like this, but there is a builder in each and every one of you. So don't be overwhelmed, just start somewhere, believe in yourself and step by step the big picture will emerge. But remember, do not neglect the bushes. So, whether you enjoy building, designing redstone contraptions, maybe even battling out in hot PvP action, or embarking on an amazing adventure, Minecraft has something for everyone, and that is what I love about this game. So thank you, Minecraft, for allowing me to be a part of this fantastic journey. Enjoy the rest of the show. どうも、でも絵が苦手な私でもマインクラフトなら自分の作りたいものが表現できる。それが大好きなポイントです。そして最後にお見せするこちらの建築が現在制作途中の松本城です。松本城は日本の国宝に指定された歴史のあるお城で、私もいつか
did you know that you could make music with Lego bricks? I didn't. We teamed up with Lego and music artist Look Mum No Computer to do just that. Hello, I'm Look Mum No Computer. Musician, inventor, a machine whisperer. Welcome to my place. I've been set the challenge of creating the next generation of soundtracks for playing Minecraft and building Lego Minecraft. And instead of using this, they've asked me to use this and Minecraft sound effects. Ooh, how? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Let's press record. <laughs> so now I've got some sounds that I think will work. I've got this really nice Minecraft sample for Joy. And when you uh, put it all over the top of each other. I've got the beginnings of some songs here, but I can't finish it on my own. I'm gonna have to build some assistance. Ah, uh, Lego bricks, of course. You stay there for a second, I'll be back in a bit. So after a little while and a fair few Lego Minecraft bricks, I've built this thing over here. No, it's not a treadmill, it's actually a musical instrument. You see these pins on here, you program in what you want it to play, and these pins push these levers over here that play some sounds. And then also, over here, we have a keyboard that's made from Lego bricks as well, and then don't forget, we've also got the sampler sounds in here loaded. Anyway, you can check these songs out on Spotify. Also, you can check out the music on YouTube. Anyway, I've been looking at my computer. Have a lovely time. Now, our next group of creators focuses on mods, but not just playing with them. We've got a behind the scenes look at the people who make them. Hello. Minecraft Ikwan 在中国社区,Minecraft的中国版提供的编辑器和SDK能够非常方便地设计界面和代码。这也让越来越多的新人积极地参与到模组设计中。在Minecraft这个充满无限可能的平台施展他们的独特想法。当然,我们也期待我们
from my survival series, roleplay, food challenges, to even mods. And by adding mods to Minecraft, I've been able to create a whole unique experience for myself, such as going to space. Oh my god, we're actually taking off! <laughs> Spawning scary mobs. Okay. Oh! What the heck is that? Become the strongest player. Ah! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna burn! Wait. Wait. I didn't take any damage at all. Taming pet dragons. Oh, oh there it is! We got one. Oh, little bit. Hey, 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 I'm the I'm the father. And even adding hero rhyme to the game. You're just a mod. You're just a mod. I'm not scared of you. Hey yo. <laughs> I've even done my fair share of trolling by adding mods to my friend's Minecraft server. Right, I'm gonna spawn in 173. This one is the is the scariest one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it's going after Holy, red. Look, look at it! Now that you've seen what I've been able to do. I encourage you to check out what other creators have done on YouTube as well. Hey everyone, I'm Vu Bui here backstage for a quick reminder on this year's mob vote. We have the Sniffer, the Rascal, or the Tough Golem. Which one will you choose? There are three ways to vote. You can go and log on to our server on Bedrock Edition, or vote directly in the Minecraft launcher. And lastly, you can visit minecraft.net and cast your vote there. Who will you choose? Go and vote now. Thanks Vu, really looking forward to seeing who wins. Next up, continuing on our Minecraft community journey, we're gonna take a look at some maybe a little bit more intense action than I'm used to in my slow paced survival world. Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. So check this out. I've got my fighter's bindings, my stalwart armor, and a little lightning harp crossbow along with a level love medallion. Today we're gonna be having some fun attempting to unlock some sort of unique armor here in the redstone mines. Now this is one of my favorite levels. I love the setting of it, but there is a redstone golem at the end who's probably gonna be quite difficult. We'll smash a couple of regenerative burning quick weak. Wow, those are actually really crazy mobs. All right, the one thing I don't wanna do is get all of the creepers mad at me so we'll get them on our team and then hopefully they'll just go blow up their friends other side oh yeah there it goes no 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 stay away from me oh that's an enderman <laughs> gonna break all the rules of minecraft and shoot it with a bow no 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 no. okay i don't like this this is bad there he is he's gone now speaking of the redstone golem i believe he's in there all right there's a the redstone golem he's gonna go down we're gonna hit him right away with our oh wow that actually went really well <laughs> oh oh what do we get we got moon daggers yes those are fast daggers. Oh, shockwave plus swirling and radiance? That actually sounds pretty good. Now let's see how they go against this guy. Okay, you know what? I totally forgot to change up my weapon or my uh, trinkets, but that's okay. And now what kind of loot do we get from the loot box? Please give me something cool. Let's get some of that legend or unique armor. Oh, just regular armor. That's okay though, because we still got some sweet moon daggers. So I hope you enjoyed that little adventure today in Minecraft Dungeons. If you did like it, let me know and enjoy the rest of Minecraft Live. Hey, soy Trailer Tutos y es un placer poder estar en este Minecraft Live 2022. Quería mandaros un grandísimo saludo a toda la comunidad y presentaros mi contenido, el contenido que yo hago de Minecraft para YouTube. Así que os dejo unos clips y espero que os gusten un montón. Un saludo. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué estamos así tan raro? ¿Qué pasa si te rompo esto? ¿Qué haces, inútil? Si rompo aquí. Ay, qué torta me he dado. Pero bueno. Yo creo que es mejor tirarse por los lados. ¡Sígueme! ¡Yupi! ¿Pero qué dices? Yupi. Me quedo enganchado, me quedo enganchado, Yupi. Toledo. ¡Yupi! ¿Dónde está? ¡Yupi! ¡Yupi! Me estoy yendo. ¿Qué es esto? <risa> Mira, úsalo, úsalo. Está más guapo, ¿eh? Working phone. Dale, dale. <risa> <risa> ¡Pero qué asco! ¿Por qué explota un teléfono móvil? ¡Petrolero! Spider cerdo, spider cerdo Hace lo que un spider cerdo hace Puede columpiarse en una red Pues no puede, es un cerdo ¡Atención! ¡Qué torta asada el cerdo! Pero si mis flechas funcionan Esto, eh, pues no lo sé, a ver, pr prueba ¡Sí funciona! ¡Sí funciona! ¡Eh, eh, eh! ¡Mira, va, va! ¡Muere, muere! ¡Disfrútalo! ¡Venga, eso es! ¡Dale ahí! Oye, cabrita, aquí arriba hace mucho frío. ¿No quieres un abrazo? Venga, espera, espera, espera. Hello, 
I'm Kipley and I've been doing SMP videos on YouTube with my friends for around a year now. And I've loved using all the new items from all the new updates to try and like escape really interesting situations. You could definitely say I've been in some uh, very tricky situations. Oh my God, these guys, uh, <laughs> they weren't supposed to be here. It's, it's fine, it's fine, okay? Even in difficult situations, we can get out of this. You're pretty rude right now. And honestly, this is gonna be your end. Right, <laughs> get it? No, so you are gonna give me the no, uh, I, I'm gonna kill you. Wait, what? Goodbye. Wait, what? <gasps> Go! Okay, everyone, welcome to Fight Club. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. She was getting too close. <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a water bucket too, you know. Oh, yeah? That's fine, man. That's fine. <laughs> you don't have to bring a no, body get with you, back huh? Here. Of course I did. No, you didn't. Oh, oh you what did is it, bro? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I see you, Kipley. Where this. are my diamonds? Oh, right I now. haven't no, stolen no, no, any listen. diamonds! No, no, no. no. I will, will split it, man. Get away from me! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, how are you alive? Hey, everyone. We can we can talk about this, right? Oh, my goodness. There's uh, uh, there's someone behind you, buddy. You, yep, yep. Oh! Okay, run, run. This is our chance. See if we do escape. I hope you guys enjoy Minecraft just as much as I do, even in the challenging moments. And I hope you enjoy the rest of Minecraft Live and all its amazing creators. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> It is so cool to see all of the different ways that people are playing Minecraft, especially when they're playing with their friends. Hello everyone, my name is Gemini Tay. I am a content creator from Newfoundland, Canada. I play Minecraft, creating videos and builds within the game that focus on storytelling and fun. I am here today to tell you all about Minecraft SMPs, as I am currently a part of two amazing SMPs, Empires and Hermitcraft. Let me tell you all about them. Now, before we get started, you may be wondering, what is an SMP? Well, let me show you. SMP stands for Survival Multiplayer. It is when you play Minecraft Survival Mode with your friends. This is one of my favorite ways to enjoy the game. Let's go take a look at the SMPs that I am currently in. Welcome to the Empire server. Each of us on this server created a character to play and a base theme to build within. We focus on friendship and storytelling here, creating empires, becoming kids, kings and queens and sometimes even wizards. We roleplay these characters and build up our bases telling stories as we go and we have had some very fun moments. Let's log on to Hermitcraft now. This is a vanilla SMP with 25 players online together. We focus on collaboration and creating mega projects in vanilla. Here is our spawn. It started as a simple river, but is now built up to all of our individual styles. Speaking of collaboration, earlier this year, I needed an ocean monument drained. And with Hermits helping Hermits, we got the job done faster together. It was a lot of fun and it allowed me to work on my mega base where I'm building right next door to two other hermits. And that's one of the beautiful things about SMPs. Playing Minecraft with friends is so important to me. I'm so grateful for all of these friends that I have all around the world. Bonjour à tous, ici la France, je m'appelle Hi Pierre, ça fait 12 ans que je joue au jeu, ça fait plus de 10 ans que je fais des vidéos sur YouTube et aujourd'hui j'ai envie de vous parler de ce que j'aime dans le jeu et de vous montrer ce qu'on sait faire en France ensemble avec tous mes amis youtubeurs et streamers sur notre serveur qui est le plus connu ici et qui s'appelle Polycube. Personnellement, moi ce qui m'attire le plus sur Minecraft c'est avant tout euh, l'aspect technique, la redstone, les usines. J'adore par dessus tout automatiser pour avoir le moins de travail possible à faire. Et c'est probablement un petit peu mon passé d'ingénieur qui, euh, qui prend le dessus sur le jeu. Et j'aime encore plus me lancer des défis d'usine originale, comme par exemple ici, avec cette usine à faire qui fonctionne qu'à la TNT. Et je joue également avec ma femme, qui de son côté préfère la construction et la décoration, ce qui permet à nous deux d'être super complémentaires, de faire des belles bases. C'est d'ailleurs en fait ce que j'aime le plus sur Minecraft, un petit peu cet aspect multijoueur, ou peu importe l'âge, chacun a sa façon de jouer avec ses propres compétences. Sur Holycube, on a entre 18 et 60 ans, et Minecraft permet en fait de tous nous réunir sous la même passion, en dépit de cet écart générationnel, pour construire des choses toujours plus grandes, plus impressionnantes, mais aussi pour s'amuser, rigoler ensemble, se donner des conseils, partager ses découvertes et connaissances du jeu, ou tout simplement discuter tranquillement le soir. Et je trouve que c'est vraiment ça la grande force de Minecraft et du multijoueur, 
c'est de pouvoir jouer avec des amis, de rencontrer des nouvelles personnes et j'encourage vraiment tout le monde à, à jouer en multijoueur, à partager sa créativité et son imagination. En tout cas, de notre côté, sur Olicube, on n'est pas prêt de s'arrêter. Hello everyone, my name is Pellicent Marine and I'm an Australian content creator who loves building and also makes some SMP content too. You may or may not primarily know me from Hermitcraft, but I also play hardcore survival too. Uh, let's just take a little bit of a dive into what kind of hardcore player I am. Can, can I have the food please? I would like the food. I go boop and I go boop and I get some pork chop. Boopy scary night time, better go to sleep. Otherwise you'll get monsters jumping you in sleep. Bonk! Look at all those zombies coming towards me. That guy has a sword. He's pointy. Haha, <laughs> but he's dead. Hello, creeper. Why are these explosions? Oh my gosh. Look at this place. This is beautiful. It appears the game has given us a beautiful birch forest. However, it is not a spruce forest, therefore I do not want you. Well, that sure looks like death, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, um... Episode 2 is great, yep. <laughs> I'm the crazy cat lady in this world. I'm okay with that. I'm fearless until I am not fearless. Achoo! Making my way downtown. Walking fast. The place in blocks and as I'm homebound. -na 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 -na. I'm a gear chat. -na 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 -na. I'm a shoot chat. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, hello. I got my little first piece of netherite. Ah, mine. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. As much as hardcore worlds do typically end up in the loss of a world, I do enjoy restarting worlds. Anyway, give it a go and experience just how fun it can be. Anyway, that is enough about me. Go take a look at some of my Hermitcraft friends. Hello everyone, I'm Stress Monster 101 and I make content for YouTube and Twitch. I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to play on two gorgeous servers. The first one, of course, being Hermitcraft where I get to take part in fun storylines and help to create big builds absolutely everywhere. We build in-game shops, we trade with each other, and of course, we prank each other. Cookies, anyone? And the second being Vault Hunters SMP, where we all work together towards reaching the end goal, and that's entering the final vault as a team. We each have to get 25 artifact pieces from running vaults. Vaults are like mini dungeons with absolutely loads of loot in them. And then to get a chance of getting an artifact piece, we have to defeat the boss at the end. I love running the vaults with my friends as we get double the loot, which is always a bonus, but is always a risk, because I ain't great at PvE. So if I die, then they die, and that would be bad. Playing Minecraft together with other people is so much fun, and I absolutely love it. Enjoy Minecraft Live, everyone. Bye. Okay everyone, the main show is approaching, which means it's time for me to say goodbye. However, before I do go, we're going to take a look back at the past year of Minecraft. Of course, no look back would be complete without taking time to remember Technoblade, and YouTube is preparing a wonderful tribute video to remember him. Technoblade never dies. I need just obliterate in this poor player. Dude, Technoblade, run! Why are you so good? You want more? That was incredible. Technoblade never dies. No sé. Si le ha puesto los comorados, qué guapo. Mira los otros comorados ahora. Guys, I think I found the gold egg. This is the running animation. <laughs> Minecraft Zui Gao de Jing Sita. This video of 2022, and if you've been following the channel for a while, you know this is also one of my favorite videos to prepare. Look at that dolphin! Right! dig straight down, right? Here we go! Hey, look! Oh wow, this is amazing. Holy cow, what? Oh, this is so... <gasps> this is a Minecraft. We're doing some Minecraft bingo, because I just feel like... Yeah, that's terrifying. Green light. Oh, oh, oh. 
Vi cuántos diamantes encontré, patita. Encontré nueve diamantes. Nueve diamantes. Es igualzinho, velho. No, es muy bizarro. Será que es un pack? We got everything. ¡Ah, se lo ¡Oye! I'm gonna be Bob Lightyear! Whoa. Whoa, 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 replicar el planeta Tierra completo en escala 1 1. Mira, te vas a secuestrar. Oh, mira, oh. The golden apple boosts my health so my body can handle the Nada Dude, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually running on one. Survive 100 days in realistic Minecraft. It's gonna be good. Okay. Now, what I would like to do in this hardcore world is not just survive, but thrive. Eso sí está bueno. Ya me acuerdo, los camina en la cueva, tú. Oye, está súper fiel, eh. Eso, yo creo que es muy bueno. ¿Y en el interior está bien? Yo creo que en el interior está bien. Ja, reicht doch. Ne, warte, hier ist richtig. Ja, da. Schön, komm, was du da war. Ja, wo das war, wo das war. Ayuden a adivinar, vamos a hacer una encuesta. Achere. Una tarjeta. Que pasa, ¿se está bien que te... No, yo jogué ela para longe, volto por cima. Bridge. This is like, this is hitting all the correct parts of my brain. You saw my just hit him. I hit him. I got him. Shinji Yang Yang, Shinji Hou Hei Shou. Hey, Xiao Bing got defeated. The room in the room is very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not ready. Hello and welcome. I'm your host and chief storyteller of Mojang Studios, Lydia Winters. We have an exciting show for you today, packed with all things Minecraft. And you'll hear it directly from the amazing people making it. Hang out with us as we show you our new game, Minecraft Legends. See what's going on in Minecraft Dungeons, find out about the next Minecraft update, and a lot more. If you love Minecraft, you're definitely in the right place. Welcome to Minecraft Live 2022.
Hello, Minecrafters of the world. I'm Boo Booey, and I'm here to talk about what I've personally decided is the coolest part of Minecraft Live, the mob vote. As you may have noticed, we've done things a little differently this year. But first, let's take a look at our three mob choices that you, the Minecraft community, will choose from. The one that wins the vote will be fully developed and added to Minecraft. First, we have the Sniffer, an ancient mob that hatched from underwater eggs. They loved plants and could find seeds by sniffing the ground. If you vote for the Sniffer, you can revive this mob that was thought to be extinct and maybe even get some new plants. Next up, we have the Rascal. This mischievous mob lives underground and loves playing hide and seek. If you find it three times, it will give you a prize. If you vote for the Rascal, you can play hide and seek for loot in Minecraft. And last but certainly not least is the Tough Golem. These stony mobs can hold items and move around your base. If you vote for the Tough Golem, you could set up your own moving art exhibition. Okay, so you know the mobs. Now, how do you vote for them? We wanted it to be really easy for everyone to get a chance to vote this year. For the past 24 hours, we had an in-game server that you could jump into and cast your vote, and it just closed. But there are still two ways you can vote right now and for about 15 minutes. Either head straight into the Minecraft launcher and click the Minecraft Live tab, or head to minecraft.net slash live and vote there. Which mob do you want to see in the game? The Sniffer, the Rascal, or the Tough Golem? If you haven't done it yet, go cast your vote now and be a part of deciding on the future of Minecraft. Now, let's go to Lydia, Magnus, and Kevin to hear all about our new game, Minecraft Legends. Legends hold great power. The legends we hold dearest are legends of hope, of creativity, and of bravery. And friendships that change the world forever. This is the legend of a united overworld. United by you. Minecraft Legends is a brand new action strategy game from us at Mojang Studios in partnership with Blackbird Interactive. And I'm here with two of my amazing colleagues. Hey, Magnus. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hello. OK, before we talk about the game, which I'm really ready to do, could you tell everyone <laughs> what you do at Mojang? I sure can. I'm uh, the creative director at the game studio here in Stockholm. Nice. And Kevin? I am the narrative director for the game studio in Stockholm. So you're going to tell us all about this amazing game we've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. And first, I want you to tell everyone, what does it mean to be a legend? I think the best way to start answering that question is to talk about storytelling in Minecraft. Because stories in Minecraft mean something different than in most games. They do. Uh, in most games, most of the time, it, it's the, the game gives you a story, and then that's the story that you, that you take. But in Minecraft, it's all about the stories that you make. And so every time you log on, I log on, all of our players log on, the stories that you make to all of our players, the stories you make are the most important stories in Minecraft. So with that understood, uh, I think what it best means to be a legend... When we first announced the game, we did so with a scene of a villager reading a bedtime story to a villager child. And I think we can all understand that feeling of closing your eyes and hearing an impossible story that maybe you, maybe isn't all true, but you wish it was. Maybe parts of it were. It's those kind of legendary what-ifs that we're going to add in Minecraft Legends for you to put into your next Minecraft story. I really love that. It feels super complex, though. You're taking a game so many of us, mm. we know, we love, we've been playing for a long time. And then you're trying to interpret it into something new. How do you do it? <laughs> it's, it's not easy to make a game. It never is. But uh, this game especially, like in, with a new team, both internally a little bit, when we just, you know, learn Minecraft. And not only the game, but the whole experience of Minecraft, because it's larger than just the games. And then working together with Blackbird, in, Blackbird Interactive in Vancouver, just getting them into that spirit you know, spirit of the game, connecting back to original Minecraft, you know, just recognize what's going on in the world and so on. 
connect with everybody around that and focus on what we want to do with this game and get the new stuff in there because we do want a differentiation between our games as well. But you still want it, I mean, you're really bringing the spirit of our original Minecraft game and the feeling of, you know, you're mm -hmm. like, we're in this beautiful place. It's different than Minecraft, but it's something special. Where are we? A little familiar still, uh, but welcome to the Well of Fate. Uh, the Well of Fate is where we start uh, our adventure in Minecraft Legends. It's where you enter the world. Um, it's really the heart of the overworld in this story. Uh, and it's a place where over the course of the game, you're going to make uh, some very important friends. I think we'll talk about it a little bit later. We definitely will. I just love how, you know, you feel the Minecraftiness of it right away, the mm. spirit of Minecraft. But you're also, you're adding so many new things. You come to the Well of Fate and you have, you get really awesome tools. I'm stoked about them. <laughs> Yeah, when you come to the Well of Fate in the beginning of a game, you will be given a couple of tools to, that kind of gives you your ability in this world and in this game. Uh, so to begin with, you get the thing called the Flame of Creation. Well, I mean, I don't need to know anything else. That's just so <laughs> That's cool. what you want to have, right? <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, the Flame of Creation is kind of like making it possible for you to build spawners that can bring new friends into the world that helps you out. Second thing you will be given is the Banner of Courage. Mm -hmm. And that's a banner that you can wave in the air and that will make... The, your friends follow you, and then you can point them in different directions and tell them to do different tasks for you. And maybe the last, last but not least, my favorite, the loot. Uh, <laughs> the, because you, give a loot, you are given a loot that you can play, and that, you know, just play some music, and that will bring in the allies into the world. They love music, and they will help you to gather materials and build buildings and stuff in this world. Cool, and everybody's going to get to see a lot of that as we play through and show There's a lot some. more mm -hmm. of uh, Minecraft Legends than people have seen before. Throughout the show, we've asked our creators to send us questions, so they can ask them directly to our team working on it, and you two get the first one. All right. Ooh, nice. Hola a todos, yo soy Alan Pool 98 y mi pregunta es, hay muchas cosas en el juego que se sienten familiares, pero se ven y actúan de manera diferente, como los Piglin. ¿Cómo enfocaron el diseño de nuevas versiones de cosas que ya conocemos de Minecraft? That is a really good question. That is. And uh, every good legend uh, needs some good legendary danger. Definitely. And the danger in this game uh, comes in the form and the smell a little bit of the piglins. <laughs> um, for a while now, we've thought about, players have thought about what happened if the nether would come for the overworld. Uh, <laughs> and so even as far back as when the nether update for uh, vanilla was being worked on, uh, we started thinking about, we had zombie piglins in the game. Uh, what might they have been in a slightly less icky form? <laughs> slightly less. <laughs> slightly <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> relatively fresh. Yeah, here's an image of that uh, kind of like from relatively early stages when the term Pyrrhia mm -hmm. that Kevin is talking about, like how we explore how to, you know, change things in the game and like feel like if they are now a total zombie state, how can we get them to be at least a relatively fresh thing? <laughs> it's like so, a yeah, transition over their time. <laughs> Here's another fantastic piece of art from that time period. Kind of like this is an era where we kind of like started to find that great balance between, you know, being super cute, but also feeling a little bit of dangerous. So. It's really, they're really cool. And you actually have added different hordes. So there's different mm -hmm. piglin hordes that are going to, mm -hmm. I mean, not be nice, basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as a rule. Yeah, no, we have uh, several different hordes and they... Kind of like they, they bring different things to the game, so they look different, they play different, and you know, I just act differently so you can get the new experience each time you encounter a new one. And I mean, action strategy, what does that mean in this game? Yeah, that's, it's a bit of a new thing for us and for many games. It's a unique combination in many ways for me. And uh, we make games that we love to play. Uh, we have many people at the office who likes to play strategy games. So therefore, we want to experiment a little bit with that. And, but another thing with Minecraft games, we always have a hero and representation of the player in the game world. So that's super important. And, like, and when you have a hero, you want that hero to be able to do some stuff, right? So that's where the action combination comes in and so on. So you, you can ride around and you can have a fun time and uh, just, you know, uh, swing your sword a little bit, have uh, some envir environmental gameplay as we see here. You know, we call, call those things uh, uh, jump caps, and they're like super cool. Just around, jump, jump around, swing your sword a little bit, and uh, with your sword you can defend against a few numbers of piglins and so on. But first and foremostly, 
we also have a strategy part where you are actually a commander in, in the game like bringing your friends to help you fight because you can't take on the big, big threat on your own. Yeah. That's awesome. And you have friends that, you know, are fighting alongside of you. We have some friends that guide you, but you mm -hmm. also have just a lot of pure cuteness. Yes, there is. Uh, well, the overworld in Legends is a very peaceful, cozy place. You can kind of look around us and see. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of mobs who will show up and be very curious uh, about the hero. There's a little tur turtle following the hero there. Uh, some of the mobs will be familiar to players of uh, Minecraft already, uh, but there'll be some uh, new little faces in there as well. And like I said, most of these creatures will be curious and will follow you around and, and start to learn about you. Uh, but some of them may help out a little bit. Uh, for example, our friend the llama. Uh, turns out llamas really don't like piglins. And you know <laughs> what happens if you make a llama mad. Whew, good. Okay, so we'll take them, only the llamas with yes. us, maybe. And you've added friends that, Kevin, you talked about earlier, that we would we would talk more about it. You're, you added friends that really guide you in the game, which is yeah. so cool and very unique to Minecraft Legends. Yeah, this is new for uh, for Legends and the, the kind of gameplay that we have here, because the... Uh, well, normally when you play Minecraft, you show up and, and the world is open to you and there's really not a lot of immediate pressure. Uh, in Legends, however, the piglins have terrible manners. Uh, they're not going to give you any time. So <laughs> but I want to just hang out in the with the bounce caps and the cute well, animals. There, yeah, there will be some time there, <laughs> okay. but in the meantime, piglins. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, as soon as you arrive in the world um, at the Will of Fate, like I said, you will meet some friends called the Hosts. Uh, and the hosts are interesting characters uh, that you'll get to know across the course of the game. Uh, and on screen, there's a shot of them. Is uh, On the left, the tall one is Foresight. Uh, on the right, the little one is Knowledge. And the middle is uh, Action. And Foresight, Knowledge, and Action are the characteristics when we started thinking about these characters that we think all Minecraft players, we all demonstrate every time we play Minecraft, is we see a hill and foresight is coming up with a dream of what might be up there. Uh, knowledge is the understanding of the crafting recipes and the ingredients that you need to make that real. And then action is the oomph, it's the hard work to make that a reality. So foresight, knowledge, and action will help you uh, across the course of the game um, and uh, hopefully become your friends. I really love that. And Yen's actually headed into Legends to meet up with the hosts so that you can all get to know them more. <laughs> Welcome back, Jens. <laughs> what can I do for you today? You're always so helpful, Foresight. We've been friends for a while, and I felt it was time to return the favor. Thank you. Anything I can do to help you with that? Your timing is perfect. Let us hope your courage is as well. Come, action waits for us through the portal. Action! 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 action. Where are you? Oh, hello. Nice. Nice little kitty. Hello. Oh, action. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. We really need help protecting the overworld. Do you know anything about that? Hmm, maybe a thing or two. Good. Somebody has to help us put an end to this. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but we might need a few more reinforcements. <laughs> The piglins are moving faster than we thought. We need more time. Knowledge, what should we do? Right now, we run! Right. What? Huh? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, Jens. <laughs> He's a brave Jens. He yeah. was really yes. brave. Yep. Ah, oh my. Red skies. That means more piglins. That means it's time for us to actually jump into the game. We have four amazing people ready to play from our team at Mojang Studios. Hi, Anna. Hi, Telemachus. And from our friends at Blackbird Interactive, Haley. And hi, Pete. 
Hello. Pete, we're going to start exploring with you, so let's jump in. Let's do oh, it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who is that cool, cool animal? So this here is the Regal Tiger. It's one of the many new mobs that you'll see in Minecraft Legends, and it's one of the few that you'll able, be able to ride. That's so cool. And throughout the game, you're always riding on one. And this one looks really fast. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's one of the reasons why it's my favorite. And also because it's so adorable. It is really adorable. So where are we going to go? Uh, well, I got a couple of things planned where we should be heading over to help the rest of the team battle a piglin base. But there was a few things that I wanted to show off first. I see the Well of Fate. Yeah, you sure do. So this is the Well of Fate, as you mentioned. It is the player's home away from home when they're in the world of legends. It's uh, where you start the adventure and you return here many times throughout the course of the game, so you'll become very familiar with it by the end. It's so beautiful. I love how peaceful and nice it is here. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. So actually, here, I'm going to scoop up some friends. So you're using the Banner of Courage? That's right. You just Aww. wave it around whenever there's a friendly mob nearby, and they'll follow you around. So we're going to get uh, get a group of animals going here. Oh, nice. Yeah, Quite got... a quite a bunch of cuties. Yeah, that's right. We're going to take him for a swim just for fun. Okay, so they're coming with you for fun, that's but not right. to fight. That's right. I mean, <laughs> look at that pig's face. Would you send that face into battle? No, definitely not. I don't think so. <laughs> I would protect it, though. I'm ready. So I had a couple more things I wanted to show. First off, with the allays, I'm going to ask the, the allays to gather this tree for me. That's really cool. Yeah, you can see him tearing down that tree. Um, play, uh, players will be familiar with uh, vanilla Minecraft, uh, breaking down the world and rebuilding it block by block. In Legends, we like to say that you do that thought by thought. So the player just has to say, you know what, I need some wood, and then you ask the lays to gather it for you, and off they go. That's so amazing. So they will stay there and just keep gathering as you go about your journey. That's right. You can you can send them off to gather resources while you do more important things. They're really nice friends. They sure are. <laughs> they sure are. So right over here is the next thing I wanted to show off. This is very similar to the bounce caps that you and Magnus were talking about. These sparkling bushes in front of me are called speedweed. Now, the player just needs to touch these and they'll get a speed boost. So we're going to use these here to rip through a few biomes and head over to the team battling the piglins. Nice. Off we go. Wow, we're really fast now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So we're heading into the jungle here. We're going to hit some more speed wheat, and then we're going to hit these bounce caps here. So we're going to be super fast and jump super high. Well, maybe we'll maybe some of our uh, little cuties will catch up, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might be too fast and too <laughs> jumpy for them. Yeah, we're not making it easy on them, but um, I have faith that they'll be able to keep up. Whoa, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's one of my favorite biomes. It's um, partially because of how much fun it is to run across the treetops like I'm doing here, but also just because of how nice it looks. Oh, it's beautiful. And the mangroves are there. Yeah, that's right. So I wanted to show off this nice bird's eye view. Here we go of the jungle. You can see all the beautiful trees and stuff. And the world is randomly generated, so it's always going to be a bit different. That's right. Everyone's world will be different. The world is, is just like it is in vanilla Minecraft, where, you know, from one player to the next, the world is generated differently. So it, it makes the experience unique. Very Minecrafty. <laughs> yeah. We're going to head over to the Badlands next, but I've spotted something down on the forest floor that I want to show off first. So I'll head over here. And this, this is the second thing that the allays do for you. This is an allay chest, and essentially the allays will keep these stocked with resources. So you can find them in the world, crack them open, see what's inside. There we go, I got 107 diamond. Thank you, allays. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so as you're exploring the world and you find those uh, chests around, be sure to open them up, because the allays always have gifts for you. Oh, some of my friends managed to keep up. Yeah, That's great. good job. <laughs> oh, hello, little llama. You should come with me. Here we are in the Badlands. So this is the second biome I wanted to show off. Definitely not as friendly as the beautiful jungle. Yeah, yeah. This one's a little bit more hazardous. We've got some red thorns over here. Be, be sure not to walk into those. Those can deal damage. And there's a lot less trees. So there's a lot less wood resource in this biome. So you have to keep that in mind when you're when you're planning uh, planning ahead. Ooh, that doesn't look great over there. <laughs> no, it sure doesn't. This this here is the piglin base. Now you can see the portal over there and the, the corruption that is spread throughout the world from that portal. And that's why we're here to stop it. We got to destroy that portal so that this corruption doesn't spread any further. Okay, now this is the last thing that I wanted to show that the LAs can do. I'm going to switch my hotbar here and I'm going to get get the LAs to build me a bridge across this river. One click and off wow. they go. Wow. 
building so we this have bridge. The blue alays are gatherers, and then the yellow ones are building things. That's exactly right. And then they're both filling chests of awesomeness. I mean, they, they are really great. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. So I'm actually going to drop these friends off here. I don't want to bring them into battle. I don't want Ooh, them to good. be hurt. Yeah, I'll be back for you later. Okay, next is the spawners. So here we are. We've got a few of them. These are player-built structures, and there's one for each type of mob. And essentially, you build them, you get your lays to build them, and then you interact with them to spawn some mobs. So this is a creeper spawner. We're going to spawn ourselves a couple of creepers. I would say I've never been happy to spawn creepers, but maybe today is the first time. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. You know, we're all, we're all aware of how dangerous they can be, but when you use them against the piglins, they're extremely effective. And these are some new mobs, which I love. That's right. These are the grindstone golems. So I'll grab a few of those. And then next, I'm going to get a couple of the plank golems. And the strategy really comes in when you're deciding which mobs should be fighting the piglin hordes, because you're doing it in different ways. That's exactly right. So what the player is going to do is they're going to come and check out the piglin base, much like this, see what sort of piglin units and piglin structures in the base, and then pick their mobs accordingly. I see a lot of action, so we're going to head over to Lee that and go great. like in the middle of battle. We sure are. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whew. Yeah, Lee's riding across that bridge there. She's got a whole bunch of mobs with her. Whoa. She's going to send them into battle using the Banner of Courage. So that big piglin over there is a lava launcher. That is one of the most dangerous piglins you can find in the Horde of the Spore. This is a Horde of the Spore base. And uh, that piglin, you really got to watch out for those. They can attack long range by shooting magma cubes at you. They can also do short range stomp attacks to destroy any mobs nearby. And Leah's actually put her uh, Elise to, to work helping out building those towers. That's which is right. really cool to actually have more defense. That's right. The towers that she's got on the left and right side of the bridge here, those are arrow towers. They're going to shoot arrows at any piglins nearby. So um, what we're doing here is we're essentially um, moving our way into the base, taking out the piglin structures, setting up structures of our own, battling the piglins, and making a safe path towards the portal in order to take it out. So send in a few more mobs in here on the um, lava launcher to try and take it out before we move in on the portal. Now, Lee's been being handed off the mobs from uh, one of our other players, from Anna, and that's a key part of the playing the game in, my, in uh, Legends. You have to uh, make sure to use teamwork, everyone working together against the piglins. Oh, that lava launcher looks like it's in trouble. Oh, it's in big <laughs> There's trouble. There's a lot of mobs there. It's in big trouble, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have much time left. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Lava launcher down. Okay, do you think we can take out this portal? Oh, I know we can. Because we have a secret weapon. Here oh, we go. there's our secret weapon, yeah. Telemarchus. Coming and... in with the, <laughs> the first of stone. See this giant mob behind him, scooping up a boulder, and flinging it into the portal. That's the first Whoa, of stone. Oh, and the health bar is already down so quick. Oh yeah, these piglins <laughs> didn't know what hit them. Game over. 13%, percent couple oh, more shots. Oh. Hopla! Great job, team! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask this on behalf of myself and everyone else. When can <laughs> we play? Yeah, that's the thing. I get that question all the time. I <laughs> buy do. daughter Mai. And, and my boys, yes. Boys yeah, well. yes yeah. A lot. But yeah, and I'm happy to tell you today that it's spring 2023. So That must be Not so exciting. Far. Very, very, very. I mean, you've been working on this a long time, so... I know we all can't wait to see the community playing. Yep, absolutely. And we're very excited for you all to play in spring 2023. And for the first time ever, here's the beginning of our game, the opening cinematic of Minecraft Legends. Huh? 
Knowledge, come with me. We must witness this together. Yeah, well, Mubalum says that I'm winning. Um, I find that a bit surprising considering this is like a cooperative game. Oh. Also, we're live. The mob vote for 2022 is now closed. I hope you got a chance to choose your favorite mob. I know I did. Jens, what'd you think about the mob vote this year? Oh, I, I thought it was amazing. Like, oh, the team came up with three really adorable mobs and I'm very excited to see which one the community has picked for us. Yeah, it's uh, always an exciting thing and there's still so much work to be done on the mob that wins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like. When you see that when the mob gets into the game, that's when you start really nailing down the details and you kind of figure out how, how does this mob interact with all the other mechanics in the game and what do we need to make it like a, re a really good mob. The, like everyone on the team really loves Minecraft and wants to make the best mob possible. So now I'm sure they're very excited to see which one takes the win. I think we all are. Since I have you here, we have a creator question just for you. Ciao a tutti, io sono Carly e questa è la mia domanda per voi. Nel trailer di Minecraft Legends abbiamo visto dei nuovi mostri. Li vedremo mai nelle nuove versioni di Minecraft? That's a really good question. <laughs> And uh, Magnus and Kevin, they were t talking a little bit about this because you see in Legends uh, we have the allays. Um, and uh, the allays were created in for Legends to solve a problem. Like how can the player build and collect resources while focusing on the big picture of the strategy. Um, but when we thought about the LAs, we thought about and also like what do, what do they mean for the bigger Minecraft mm -hmm. mythology, if we would call it that, and what would it mean for, for the vanilla experience. Yeah. Um, so uh, we, uh, we, we thought about a lot about it and included in the last year's uh, mob vote and, mm -hmm. and uh, Thankfully, the community voted for that yeah. one. <laughs> But of course, then we needed to make sure that it worked well for, for Minecraft uh, and uh, like the, that kind of gameplay. We had some, some things were, of course, like the way it looks and mm -hmm. that it loves mu music. That was like yeah. part, of, part of its essence. But uh, it needed to work well for Minecraft. And similarly, like Kevin mentioned, like the, with the piglins, mm -hmm. uh, that like we wanted to make sure that piglins work well in vanilla. Uh, so that that is kind of how we think about many mobs in all our games, uh, and uh, they may or may not move to other games. But it has we have to it has to fit like it has to have an opportunity essentially. Yeah. And uh, obviously, in Minecraft Legends, it's a legend, and many of those really special ones will probably remain a legend. That's cool. So Jens. I have a really important question for you. Haven't you ever wished you could just develop your own mob for Minecraft? Well, I, I, anyway, I mean... now you can do just that. The Entity Wizard tool uh, is a tool that is built with uh, our friend Yanis on Blockbench. It allows for a simple way to quickly make an entity and get it into the game fast. It's accessible and easy for anyone to get started with. You're not really guessing as to what a mob does. You can actually just take that as an archetype and say, I want this to be like a bear, and then just build off of a bear. It makes it very easy. 
The main purpose of that tool is to make it super easy and it walks you through all the steps. It tells you like it suggests things that you can pick from, it gives you templates to pick from and then I think from there you can just start creating your own mall from scratch. I think all of us really, really want to see our own mobs in the game. Like we kind of dream about having this new animal or this new creature. Or maybe there was a mob vote that didn't go our way. Hashtag team Copper Golem. This tool allows for anyone who has an idea uh, to kind of express that and put it in the game and try it out themselves and see what it would be like. My favorite bird is a Hornbill Toucan. Um, so I really wanted to say like, can I actually remake a Hornbill Toucan and I wanted to build it on the Parrot because that gave me all of the gameplay features that I wanted and it would make it easier to make it look like that as well. So knowing both what you want it to play and feel like and what it looks like, combining those two together really leaves you in the right place to start. If you're scared about it like I was, you can just start by painting an existing mob. That's one of the cooler things of the Entity Wizard. You can just base it on a mob that already exists. And then if you're comfortable with painting, then work on changing the model itself. So changing the dimensions, changing the shape around it. Get that in the game. I hope you find some resource to get you started here, whether it's art tutorials, whether it's the block bench tutorials, whether it's a YouTuber that's made a video on this stuff. Uh, see what other people are doing out there, get inspired, download this tool, and just start seeing what your creativity can bring and try it out. Banana. Hmm, this one's actually going to be really difficult. How do you make a curved object in Minecraft? How does that work? But <laughs> I think I've actually done okay. It's going to need some eyes or something. Do you reckon we could make like a face just to make it a little bit more interesting? We do that, and then... <laughs> okay, that actually looks kind of cool. I thought it was going to be massive. Do you do anything? Do you... Oh, you walk! Okay. This looks like an Adventure Time character. I always dreamed of being able to make my own stuff in Minecraft, and now I can. We can't wait to see all the cool mobs you all make. I'm not saying I'm still holding out hope that my Alolotl from last year will go in the game, but I definitely am. The coolest thing is that these are the same tools our developers and marketplace creators are using to create new things in the game. Minecraft Marketplace is full of fun content you can't get anywhere else. And today we have a first look at something many of us have been waiting for. Oh, well, hi there, Minecraft family. My name is Jim Lee. And I'm the publisher and chief creative officer of DC Comics. I'm here to announce that we're bringing Batman to Minecraft in a brand new DLC world launching very soon. In this DLC, you'll use Batman's gadgets to explore Gotham and take on villains like Harlequin, Penguin, and more as you unravel Joker's nefarious plot. To celebrate the release of the Minecraft Batman DLC, you can get the free Batman cap in the dressing room right after Minecraft Live. I know, I know you want to hear more. Well, then check out this amazing trailer for the Minecraft Batman DLC right now. <laughs> Hey, Agnes. Hi, Lydia. I know a lot of the community know you, but for those who don't, could you tell them what you do at of Minecraft? Of Minecraft. <laughs> yes. Hello, everyone. Lovely to meet you. I'm Agnes, and I'm the game director for Minecraft. And Agnes, later in the show, you're going to tell us about the next update. 
Oh yes, so we will show some lovely new things and we will actually do it in a bit of a different way this year because it's important for us to learn from previous years. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. I know a lot of us are. But first I wanted to know, have you ever wished that there was an opera for the warden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All the time? Oh yeah, it's like my biggest dream. Well, Element Animation has made your dreams come true. <laughs> That's amazing. Come down to the dark, there's no one around. An ancient city with riches to be found. But don't make a peep and be light on your feet. Cause if you make a sound, there's something you'll need. Okay, the votes have been tallied and it's time to... Hey, what's going on? Tiny Voo's doing what? Yes, I can't believe it worked. That average size Voo always gets the glory, but it's finally me, Tiny Voo, who gets to shine. The first round of the mob vote has been tallied and now I will tell you whether it's the sniffer, the rascal, or tough golem that's been voted out. Okay, here it is, my big moment. Drum roll, please. Not today, Tiny Voo. You have voted and we have counted and wow, so many of you joined the vote this year. Over three and a half million Minecrafters from around the world. Well, out of the Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem, the mob with the least number of votes is the Tough Golem. Goodbye, little Tough Golem. You will live on in our memories. But the exciting part is still to come. Towards the end of the show, we will reveal the winner of the mob vote, the victor who will be added to the game in a future update. Are you excited? There's still hope for the mob I voted for, so I'm very excited. Have you ever played Minecraft and wondered, what were they thinking? <laughs> Check out our YouTube channel to find out, if you really want to open that door. You can also ask specific questions and we'll answer them. We really had to figure out how to make it look smoother. <laughs> That's how the LA works. <laughs> I mean, I've seen how it looks and I think it actually looks really, really good. As a screaming goat. <laughs> Stay up to date on what's coming up. Ah! Or hang out with us as we play games and dive deeper into everything we reveal during Minecraft Live. What? <laughs> Is there something behind the Far Lands? People usually ask me, what type of Minecrafter are you? And I don't know what to answer. I'm just a Minecrafter. <laughs> <laughs> Step into our world and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
We are overjoyed to see that now over 10 million of you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you to all of you who watch and enjoy the content we make. It's because of you that we get to keep making awesome Minecraft videos. Now, let's talk about Minecraft Dungeons. And for that, I will of course invite Laura to Quite the entrance. Jealous, huh? A little bit. Anyway, when you're not being rolled around on thrones, can you tell everyone what do you do at Mojang Studios? I get rolled around <laughs> yes. and I am also the lead designer for Minecraft Dungeons, which means that I get to contribute a lot to the creative work in the game, which is amazing. That's so cool. And Minecraft Dungeons has been on quite a journey the past few years. Yes, it's been a crazy ride since launch and we've released so many things so I thought we could begin by watching a bit of a recap of the game. All right. Wow, so much great stuff has already happened. It's been so much and we it's been so great. But I think now that we've looked at the past a little bit, we are ready to talk a bit about the future. Maybe? I think everyone wants to hear that. Yes. And uh, the amazing thing is that now we're ready to announce that we're releasing Seasonal Adventure 3, which is called The Fawn Affair. And uh, it is all about pets and new animals to come to the universe of Minecraft. And here you can see we, we started with some concept Aww. art and we have some all some ferrets, some penguins, and my personal favorite, which is the hedgehog. <laughs> I see why. Yes, and it's tiny and it rolls around and it follows you through the level. So, yeah, it is my favorite, but the final art of the mobs turned out so wow. good. I think the penguins fit very well in camp, and we also have chickens and the clock room from Minecraft Earth. And, yeah, tons of cows even. And the woolly cow. Yes our emo cow. Uh, <laughs> we are very happy about it and it's so cozy. But the whole season will revolve about pets. So mm -hmm. all the rewards you'll be able to get through the season are around pets. So you'll get like cow and turtle capes, capes. and all the emotes are going to be about animals. So you will be able to pet your pets or, you know, be a bit of a chicken <laughs> yeah. or a bit of a dog. Why not? That's perfect. And also very flashy flares like the the cat one and yeah all sorts of cool animations that you'll be able to get that's all really exciting but you also get to talk about a new mission that's right that's right treetop tangle is our mission set in the jungle biome uh and we're very happy because we are releasing this one for free which means that all the players that never got to play in the jungle dlc before will get to explore the jungle that's so cool and it's this massive tree and you run around in the branches and inside of the tree itself. So I think it is a very different experience because yeah. it's such a vertical level. So. Yeah, I love that. You always feel, you can feel that you're way up high. Yes. And uh, I think we should also talk about my favorite thing. Your though. favorite? Uh, it is a bit of my baby, but in dungeons, you've never gotten the ability to replace your enchantments. Mm -hmm. You know how you get a piece of gear and they come with their enchantments. 
And uh, we're finally releasing the Enchant Smith, which is a new merchant that will move into your camp. So cool. Yes. And it will allow you to re-roll your enchantments, if you will. Okay. Well, I think everyone's going to be excited about that because I know I have been waiting for something like that. It's great to be able to change these enchantments. Yes. But we have a creator question just about that. Let's watch it. Hi there. My name is Steph Sanyadi. I'm head narrative designer at Padia Gaming, and I'm also a gaming content creator. My partner and I love playing Minecraft Dungeons together, but we've always wanted a way to change up our enchantments. I heard in the new update there might be a way to do that with the Enchant Smith. Can you tell us more about that and how it's going to work? Yeah, I guess I can give a few more details. Let's see. Mm. So you'll be able to save the Enchant Smith in high block halls. And after that, they'll move into your camp. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll be able to go up to their booth and select a piece of gear you want to re-enchant. Select an enchantment you already had, pay a bit of gold, and the Enchant Smith will re-roll it. Just for a little bit of gold. I mean, you have to pay them for their work. Yes, yes, yes. It is their job. <laughs> yes. And I think I say the best thing for last. Okay. So, you know, last year we talked about the tower, which yes. was a new feature. And it is that space where you go floor by floor, mm -hmm. defeating waves of mobs, and you get stronger as you go. And at the end, you get an amazing reward. Well, we are ready to announce that we are releasing a multiplayer mode. That's awesome. Yes, and today we have here with us Kelsey and JP from the Dungeons team. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that my throne? It is my throne now. Okay, <laughs> let's just get into the game. Yes, and here they are playing together. And together with the tower multiplayer, we're also releasing new biomes in the tower. So this is set in the end. And uh, this is a demo I balanced myself. Uh -huh. And I made this level a bit easier for okay. them. Okay. So, so I think they should have a good time in this floor. They, yeah. they did quick work there. Yes. And as you can see, uh, Kelsey and JP are playing in uh, Couch Co-op. Mm -hmm. But you'll also be able to play this in online multiplayer. And uh, you'll be able to play with up to four friends. Uh, so, yeah, same as, as in the rest of the game. Like, whenever somebody joins or somebody leaves, the game will adapt to how many you are and, okay. and balance its difficulty. Uh, so we're very happy of how smooth that turned out. Um, yeah, and I see these two uh, doing really well here. Yes, it is. It, you know, I, I wanted to give them a bit of a head start and a bit of a leeway. <laughs> I love how beautiful this level is. Oh, yes. they cleared it. We want to try to keep the whimsical like vibe of the tower. Mm -hmm. So we thought the end biomes were very good for that. And oh, here you can see like when you choose a new piece of gear in the tower, you'll be able to see what your friends are choosing also. Okay. Which means that you can strategize with each other. So, oh, you choose the hammer, I'll choose the crossbow. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, you get that melee strength and I get yes. the range strength. So you then know. you work well together. Yes. I made this level harder. Okay. So to give them a bit of a challenge. And uh, we'll see how that goes, I think. Oh, I think it should it's be already fair. looking a little bit tough. Yeah, but here you can see like how you collaborate with each other. Like you put the totem of healing. Yeah, and then you can all heal. It exactly. Time. And then you, you both get it and uh, you can protect yourself. So I think I really, really like the strategy that it brings to the table. Uh, to be able to play multiplayer is such a different experience. Mm -hmm. And uh -oh. I might have done this one a bit too Yeah, hard. maybe you were a little mean on that, but they did a great job. I mean, I need to show the challenge in the time. <laughs> you definitely showed the challenge. So everyone will want to know, when do we get this? Very, very soon. Uh, seasonal Adventure 3 is coming on the 19th of October. Oh, wow. So super soon you'll get the Enchantsmith, Treetop Tangle, Tower Multiplayer, all of it. That is awesome. Yes, but there's also one other thing that is coming on October, the 26th of October, to be precise, and that's the Spooky Fest, yeah. which is now a tradition in the Dungeons world. And um, this year you're getting more rewards than ever before. You're getting six pieces of gear. Uh, and I'm super happy how they turned out. They look so pretty. And uh, you'll also be able to get those pieces of gear in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which means that you'll be able to get spooky all around. That is great. Wow, you've shared so much. Thank you so much, Laura. I mean, it's... Oh. oh. Well, as usual, the Minecraft Dungeons news was fun and exciting. 
Now let's take a look at something on the inspirational side. Now more than ever, the world needs more hope, curiosity, and peace. Bringing the real world into the Minecraft world enables us to explore places we've never been, dig into real issues in an accessible way, and immerse ourselves in history to shape a better future. Experience life through the eyes of animals living in some of the coldest habitats on Earth. Hunt in a whale pod, build a cozy nest, protect your cubs, all while learning about the ways climate change is impacting these frozen worlds. These five Minecraft maps are inspired by stories from the Frozen Planet 2 series, created in partnership with BBC Earth. Head to warmer climates to explore swamps of mangroves, an incredible super tree species found in 114 countries. Join the Mangrove Restoration Project and use seed cannons to restore these essential mangroves in a world struggling from climate change. They're called climate superheroes because of their innate ability to sequester carbon. Don't miss a chance to learn about these ridiculously cool trees. In Latin Explorers, journey with leaders in the community as you help them solve tough challenges. Meet ordinary people doing extraordinary things, like preserving butterflies, delivering medical supplies, and creating murals to speak out against injustice. This world was created in partnership with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation to help young people build leadership skills and inspire local action. Learn from history with Peace Builders, a series of adventures created with the Nobel Peace Center and Games for Change. Meet four Nobel Peace Prize laureates and help them avoid and solve conflict, learning the skills needed to craft peace. Clear landmines to save a Cambodian village. Protest the unjust apartheid system. Support refugees after an earthquake. We can all help create more peace. All of these amazing worlds are available for free in the Minecraft Marketplace. Together, we can build a better world. It makes me so happy whenever I see all of those worlds. <laughs> I agree. It's beautiful and inspiring. And actually, I think for us, it's not only like beautiful that we really try to make the real world a better place. I even think it's a responsibility because we are lucky to have so many players and that means that we have quite a lot of impact and that needs to come with a lot of responsibility too. And that's the cool thing because to me it's, you know, it's not us doing something by ourselves as a company, it's always with our community I and know. like the best <laughs> ideas come from the community I and so know. many people that love, our, love the game the way we do. Yes, it's super inspiring. Mm. So Agnes, you're gonna tell us the next update. I will soon. <laughs> but first, I would actually love to take some time to talk about what we have learned from previous years, because we have announced some features that we didn't manage to deliver. And it's important that we learn from that and that we take action from that. So, for example, this year, we will only show features that have come very, very far in the development process. Because, like, with Minecraft Live, we want to celebrate this, like, mm, lovely game <laughs> together with our amazing community. And we want to create player dreams. So when we show new things, we want, like, to inspire the players. And I remember for myself, like, a long time ago, before I worked here, I used to watch Minecons <laughs> and, and I remember seeing new things. I'm like, ah, I want to build this thing with this block. I want to go on this adventure. And we want to give these kind of dreams to our players. And then it's so important that we feel 100% confident that we really can deliver on these dreams. Yeah, and I mean, it feels like we would tell everything at Minecraft Live and then you had to just keep up with that. You, you couldn't add anything or kind of change things. No, yes, so... Like in recent years, we showed like the full update almost, and then we were just chasing it for the rest of the development process, and it, well, it caused stress. So this year, we think we will have time to really like iterate on the features together with the community, of course, uh, and also to add features that we haven't showed yet, like that we haven't showed today. Because oh, like we know we already have so many ideas, and also during the development process, both us and the community, so many ideas going to pop up. 
And those are also often very, very charming. So we're happy that we will have like more time to really explore this update together. Yeah, I love it. it lets the team be more creative. It lets us be creative with the community and like kind of <laughs> see where the path takes us. And also, it's really exciting to get to hear new things like throughout the year too. So yes. I'm excited. Just yes. like, what's happening? What's <laughs> happening? But what can you tell us about the update? I mean, I can tell quite many things, but actually, first I want to tell you that we have decided to not name it yet. So for now, we will call it the 120 update and it will be released in 2023. Uh, and the reason for that is that we want to shape it like throughout the development process together with the community, because like Minecraft is, is some kind of like magic almost to Minecraft. And I think one of the key things that create this magic is that Minecraft is community fueled. Absolutely. So, yes. <laughs> so, we both came from the community yes, before. Yes. <laughs> so, so let's name it when we all feel ready to do that. But you do have a theme. So oh, yes, like yes. Some, some things to think about. <laughs> we do know what we want to achieve with the update and we have a vision. We just want to be like flexible enough so the community can be part uh, of shaping it. Um, and what we want to do with this update is that we want to make Minecraft Minecraftier. <laughs> Perfect. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we want to do that by focusing on like certain parts of what Minecraft is. And those are like the creativity, it's uh, like self-expression and intrinsic motivation. So what we want to do with Minecraft, we want to inspire and enable the players to be creative in their own ways and to express themselves in their own like unique, beautiful ways. And in this update, like one way we want to do that is to enable self-expression through representation. And I think it's so beautiful because, you know, being able to do what you want in Minecraft is the core of what it is. So I'm really yes. excited that this also lets us shape it with the community <laughs> and all of you being creative. So we do have some awesome features to show. We and have. our first guest, Chi, is here to help us show them. Yes. Welcome, Chi. Hey. Oh. It's your first Minecraft Live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and true. can you tell everyone what you do at Mojang? Uh, well, I love to play the game at Mojang. Uh, I'm a fan, uh, but I'm a 3D artist on Minecraft. And you've worked on some super cool animations for the game. Everything from like really scary, like the warden. Yeah. And really cute, like <laughs> the frogs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so adorable. Yes. They, they just, you know, their stroll is very <laughs> iconic. Thank you. You're so good at it. Like when, for example, when I see the frogs, like, ee, it really makes me feel something. So, eh, you're so good at it. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I'm so glad to hear it. So I have a creator question to kick things off for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 皆さんこんにちは。私は日本のクリエイターのタマです。私からの質問はこちらです。ワイルドアップデートのトレーラーやキーアートにいたのはスティーブとアレックスだけではありませんでした。新しいキャラクターたちは誰でしょうか? Wow, she really like saw an Easter egg that we had in there. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's amazing. Lovely. And yes, we are adding new default skins and default skins, that's like Alex and Steve. So we see them as like placeholders for the players. And our goal with Minecraft is always that everyone should feel equally we welcome in the game. And for us, this is like one step towards reaching that goal.
lots of new default skins. <laughs> so wow, pretty. it's a lovely video. Yes, we've added seven new skins to Minecraft. Uh, these skins are a wonderful collaboration within the company. Um, yeah, we 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 really care about feeling represented in Minecraft, and I think with these skins, we did that. Yes, and I think I mean you're gonna start seeing them a lot. Yeah. Yes. So. And it's not only that you can play with them in the game, you will also see them in like trailers, key art, merchandise. So you will really get to know these skins or it's, like characters. Very yeah, well. it's, it's really beautiful because now when someone starts the game, if they haven't made a new skin yet to like represent themselves, they also can pick one of these and feel like it's closer to who they are, which is so awesome. <laughs> and these awesome skins are coming soon. They weren't ready for live, so you won't see them in everything here, but everybody's going to get to know them a lot. And Agnes, you have something else to tell us about. Oh yes, there are more features. And the first one we want to show is a very charming block called Hanging Signs. Yes, these hanging signs are super colorful and the players can uh, use strip logs and chains to craft them. <laughs> oh, they're That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> really beautiful. Ah. We all know the sign blocks and what they do. And these hanging blocks, they're very versatile. Uh, you can craft them with every wood types and they have three different states. Oh, and here you can see the different variants. So the first one here is when you hang the hanging signs from a side, from the side of a block. And this one is like the base one. So it has two chains and it's when it hangs under a block that's quite wide. And then my favorite, mm. you can see it has like a V-shaped <laughs> chain. And this is when you hang it under something that's narrow, like under a fence post or under a chain. That's so pretty. Love it. They're yeah. really cool. I love how much storytelling too, even from that, because adding them to different places, it's super awesome. Yeah, uh, we love that uh, when players like use these, um, use our blocks to do something else. Like uh, for example, create like really colorful flags with them. And during our play tests, uh, one of these like um, uh, things I we did was, <laughs> yeah, cr it's connect beautiful. like uh, two villager house together and create these colorful, yeah, flags. <laughs> it's like a festival feeling, I especially like I think the crimson and warped wood ones. They're yeah, so really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And Agnes, you've said for a long time that your favorite <laughs> block is the sign block. Yes. <laughs> There's a good reason for that. <laughs> so long time ago, I think maybe 12 years ago, when I played Minecraft, I haven't, hadn't really found my play style yet. And then my little brother, he started to place signs on a castle he had built. And he was like, this family lives here and this is the names of, their family, of this family. And that inspired me a lot. So I started to do that too. So I started to like name different villages and families and like they work with this in this house. So the sign block really inspired me to tell stories and like build my world, like do world building with, with Minecraft. So I do love signs and the hanging signs. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, do you think that hanging signs will overtake signs Ooh. for you for me a bit but what i like with the hanging signs is that they are a bit more expensive to craft mm -hmm. so i will use both okay mm. very nice i love that you are using them for storytelling but also i loved your creative use of them coloring yeah. the skies and i can only imagine like our community is going to do things with this we've, we've never thought of oh, yeah. <laughs> They're always so creative. It's amazing. Yes, they're so you have something else to tell us about? Oh, yes. Uh, we have created a beautiful new wood set for bamboo. <laughs> like with every wood set, look at this. Let, you have the planks, you have fences, you have trap doors, you have doors. And look look at the beautiful patterns. Oh, I love, <laughs> love so pretty. the yeah. patterns on the trap doors. <clears throat> so good. Yes. And I love, like they're so good to use as windows, for example. <laughs> Yes. It's a really beautiful new wood set. It's amazing. And uh, one of our goals with this wood set is that we want players to feel represented. Players who grew up with bamboo in, in real life. And uh, I think that we managed to make this uh, amazing wood set very unique and beautiful. Our artists did a very good job. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And you're adding a, a special block in this set only. Yes. 
So the bamboo wood set actually have a block that no other wood sets have, and it's called bamboo mosaic, and you can see it here. Wow. I think it's very beautiful. It's and amazing. <laughs> I, when I see this, I'm like, ah, I want to build floors with it. <laughs> Wouldn't be very pretty floors. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, they're beautiful <laughs> floors. And I mean, it's beautiful in the whole building. And I think what I love about this wood set is how well it matches with other blocks, even though it feels so different too. It like looks so beautiful. Yeah. You can really mix it. Mix the blocks yeah, together. Look yeah. here, like with the copper and even the frog lights. Even the frog lights. Yeah, but more than that, I mean, I'm very excited because I think if you're able to build your real world in Minecraft, like that's so exciting for people. Mm, yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Girl. Yeah. Like look. with that, it stands like on the fence post and, and in the mangrove swamp. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And you're going to have a boat? Well, not exactly a boat. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to have a raft. <laughs> yeah, it works the same as a boat. It also has a chest, but it looks more adventurous. Yes. And like, I love that fantasy of being like on an adventure on a river and then it's on a raft. I think the like storytelling and role playing possibilities of that is, is really lovely. Mm. Yeah, I definitely want to get stranded on an island, <laughs> make a raft, oh, <laughs> like a bamboo jungle with like a panda. <laughs> it's really fun. I mean, I, I think it's so so cool to add that <laughs> yes i'm ready to go down caving like rivers and stuff. Oh, oh yes like in the <laughs> waterfalls in the caves on the mm. raft oh, that sounds fun that <laughs> sounds really fun chi thank you so much for thank telling us so about much. those things yeah. <laughs> and now we have near joining us hey hey, hey near welcome back thank you thank you this set is so amazing <laughs> i know it's so cozy it's just, turned nighttime. Yeah, this is cozy and nice. I'm, I'm just waiting for the villagers to come out so we can trade with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Ag Agnes is a villager now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, I don't have my emeralds on me. Nier, uh, for those of you who don't know, what do you do at Mojang? Sure, uh, I'm a gameplay designer, which basically means I work on some of the new features coming to the game. Very exciting. You're going to tell us about those, but we have a creator question first. Hmm. 다가오는 업데이트 중 제일 기대되는 건 어떤 건가요? Ooh, that's always hard. Just one, she told you. Well, <laughs> as a panda, I have to say the bamboo wood set. Okay, that's a very good choice. And yeah. what about you, Agnes? Yes, that's fair. <laughs> I think it is a tricky question. Uh, I do love all of the features and especially like how they connect together. But if I have to pick one, I actually want to pick one that we haven't showed yet. Well, you can do that, Agnes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well done. It's called the Chiseled Bookshelves. Right. Yeah. So Chiseled Bookshelves is the new block that we're adding to the game. And you can interact with it to store one to six books. But it's not only books. It's also enchanted books and books and quill. So basically, this is where you're going to store the stories of your world. And personally, I'm really excited about it because as a player, I love telling stories about my game. And I used to keep it in a, a physical notebook just next to my game, uh, my, my computer. But recently, I started writing it in the world, sort of storing it in chest. And, you know, that was actually inspired by you, Agnes, and your amazing world. Thank yeah, <laughs> and Agnes, you like you do the coolest storytelling oh in the game. I, I, you have to tell everybody about it because it's just it's so in depth. I love it. Okay, well, yes, it is very nerdy. So <laughs> I actually write stories both in the game, in books in game, and on a notebook outside the game. Mm. And those stories are written from different perspectives. So it's very important. Everything that happens in world need to be written from like a perspective of someone that lives in the world. So from like characters oh. in the world, which means, for example, they write like history book, mm -hmm. books and the, the stories they write there, they might not even be true. So they could be legends. They could be legends. So cool. But then in the notebook, outside the game, then it's my perspective. So then it's like, this is what really happened. Oh, I just love that. I think there's, so do both. I mean, seeing <laughs> like the stories written and then being able to pull them from the bookshelves, like I get so excited about it. And these will also have redstone capabilities. Yes. So using a comparator, you're actually going to be pull a redstone signal that's going to tell you what is the last book that was interacted with. And there's many uses for that. But personally, I'm going to make some secret bookshelf doorways and uh, hide some something love in that. there. What are you going to hide? 
Probably my uh, Agnes poster fans. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm here. So, you see, she, she doesn't need to know. <laughs> okay. Hi then. And, and Agnes, fan. your storytelling. So how would you use that to like tell stories, the secret oh, place? There's so many opportunities to tell stories. <laughs> like the first idea that just pop up, like I want to build a castle and I want like an evil queen to live oh. in this castle and then she can like hide secret things. Oh. Like a spiral staircase down to like a dungeon or something like that. That is so cool. <laughs> it would cool. be really cool. I want to make an escape room. Because oh, then you're like trying and maybe the girls are in I the love book. That. Actually, I no. That. I want someone in the community to do that and then I want to play it. Mm. That, that That's a good better. idea too. <laughs> I'm pretty That's sure someone else. That's probably being else. made right now. Yes, right? exactly. It will be <laughs> awesome. And I mean, like a lot of the other things, you have this storytelling aspect, but then it's also like, they're really beautiful. Yes. Mm. They're really, really good to decorate with. So, I love, they really have like a fantasy historical feel to them. And that's actually a feel we want for all of Minecraft. And have you noticed the top texture? Mm. <laughs> so you can see it like on the floor there. Now I'm going to talk. On the floor, I, Agnes. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to talk a lot about well floors today. Walls but, as well. But it's also very pretty as a floor. Okay. But floors I think, are important. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the cool thing whenever we get any new blocks in the game. It's like yes. being able to use them in different ways. So you yes. can use them as a, the chiseled bookshelf, or you can be like, these like, are the best floors you've things. ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> like trying to find all the, the bookshelves the and the bamboo mosaic. Yeah, exactly. Mm. All the block combinations. And, and I'm sure yeah. the community is going to come up with so many more things than us. Oh, it's yes, yes, amazing. Yes. And you have one more thing to tell us about. Yes. That's actually a feature that's quite close to my heart because I grew up interacting a lot with these. Um, so maybe it's time to take a look at some camels. are awesome That's tell us cool. more about camels yeah so like i said they're really close to my heart because uh i i remember growing up going on field trips and sort of seeing them and riding them and actually have a really distinct memory of sitting being this small kid on this huge animal and sitting on them when on the ground and when they gave up, the camels don't really just get up immediately. <laughs> They're like indecisive, rocking back and forth sort of thing. And that was a terrifying experience as a kid, but so amazing as well. And we talked about how this update is a lot about self-expression uh, through representation. And I just love that so many more people now around the world can sort of see an experience they remember and experience from their life in the game. Yeah, and so. share it with someone who maybe hasn't experienced yes. it. Right. That was the thing I really loved during the development process of camels because you had talked so much about like your experiences as a child and you know, how tall the camels is and how they stand up in this like super weird way. And then when I got to play with them in the game, I'm like, it feels like you told me about. And I Aww. thought that was cool. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, and Agnes, here's a hard hitting question for mm -hmm. you. Camels, horses, why both? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is an important question. <laughs> so... We want to keep update Minecraft for like a lifetime, for 50 years or more. And that means that each thing we add needs to really fit within the Minecraft ecosystem. And this is, of course, true for camels as well. And since camels are a rideable mob and horses are too, it was very important for us to really create a unique experience. Yeah, we worked quite hard on that, uh, trying to find a different niche in the game for both and may really make the experience different and unique. Um, and there's many differences. For example, uh, horse are quite agile. Strifing right and left mm -hmm. is really quick in Minecraft. And camels are quite big animals, so they're a bit slower. But if you find a, a, a long stretch, like a straight stretch, maybe a, a relatively flat ground like in deserts, mm -hmm. you're, you can get quite fast, actually. And that's helped by this new ability that they have called the dash. 
So using the dash, you can clear ravines or even rivers, which we all know are the enemy of horses in Minecraft. <laughs> that I mean, is pretty cool. really cool. And another unique thing with the camels is that you can be two players yes. on it at the same time. And there the two of you are. <laughs> yes. You can progress together. Oh, it's so nice. Lovely adventure in the Badlands. And we know that many of our players really enjoy to play together with their friends. Mm -hmm. So it feels good to have a feature where you really can go on an adventure together. Yes, now I, I'm happy that if we added it, finally my, uh, Agnes might invite me to play somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, I don't I know. Of yeah. course I will. <laughs> and I mean, they're great for storytelling and you have this like, okay, I'm, I'm taking you on an adventure, come see what I'm doing, but you also, you know. There's another side to them. Yeah, exactly. I think that duality is really, really interesting because like we said, when you ride with them, you're with a friend, you're on an adventure, it's very sort of storytelling, adventure -y. but there's another side because you can actually uh, sprint with camels and they go quite a bit faster when you do. So for example, in an action scenario at night, you can be out with your friend, and Agnes, for example, is using the camel and moving around and dashing out of danger. And I'm with a bow, can sort of shoot and attack behind. And that collaboration, I think, is really, really cool. And as you can see here, the many mobs can't reach us because mm -hmm. the camel is so tall. Yes. <laughs> Finally, I get to feel how it is to be tall. <laughs> I see. I know, when they're not attacking you, they actually look quite cute, I think, zombies. <laughs> A little bit cute. <laughs> Maybe ugly cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that I'm definitely going to be the one, you know, like hopefully driving the camel. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want to be the one aiming the bow, but I do. I mean, it's really cool. It adds a lot, especially to be able to, you know, maybe you're doing a little both. You're having a nice stroll and then you're like, it turned night. Let's, mm -hmm. let, mm. <laughs> let's fight this together. Here, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I have to point out that they're also just incredibly cute they are and especially they are ugly cute mm -hmm. i think Dopey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and as we can see we also have camel babies because you can breed them and something pretty interesting is that the item you're going to use to feed and breed them is actually a cactus and i thought that was so interesting when we like researched camels i didn't know that real world camels eat cactus yeah i've, I've seen many videos <laughs> of cacti uh, camels eating cactus i thought it was really really interesting and also cactus is sort of an item that doesn't have too many uses in the game so it's always nice again being respectful of all features yeah. sort of adding more uses to it that's really awesome near thank you so much for telling us about those amazing features thanks for thank having you, me near. on october 27th during minecraft now you'll be able to hear more about these cool new features and Agnes, you have one surprise for us. Yes, we do have a surprise. So previous years, you have been able to play test the new features like many, many months after live. But this year, we're very excited about this. <laughs> this year, you will actually be able to play test the new features in betas, snapshots and previews just a few days from now. We can't wait to hear what you think when you playtest these features in a few days. Like Agnes said, this is the start of features for update 1.20, and there will be more to come throughout the year. It's almost the end of the show, and we only have the mob vote results left. But let's take a look back at everything we announced today.
Now it's time to see who you all voted into the game. Vu! Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm farming. But you want the mob vote results. We do. I mean, the, the carrots are lovely. <laughs> Wait, they I want to get everybody out here. Yes. <laughs> nice throw. <laughs> Thank you. So this is important because this winning mob actually got over half of the total <gasps> votes. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> and the winner is... Ooh. The sniffer. Yeah. <laughs> you voted and now the sniffer is coming to the game. Minecraft wouldn't be what it is today without all of you. From all of us at Mojang Studios, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Ah. <sighs>